it's good YouTube, it's Cuddle of Death Ray, Ray happy day woo! And as you guys can see from the title of the video and this lovely adorable kawaii pink box, we're going to be doing a Doki Doki Crate unboxing. Uh, this particular Doki Doki Crate is of course the January Crate and uh, this is something that I actually reached out to Japan Crate and uh, I asked them, hey, you know, can I try Japan Crate or Doki Doki Crate? And I think that my subscribers would actually love to see these because I don't know about you guys, but I love watching people do unboxings of all these different types of crate. And this one is a huge one that piqued my interest. I'm like, okay, it's it's cute stuff, it's pink. I mean, look at the box. It's it's absolutely incredulous. Uh, Doki Doki Crate, for those who might be interested as we get through the video, is a $30 a month subscription box and it's supposed to contain eight to 10 kawaii items. We're actually gonna see what kind of items we get in this particular crate. I'm very excited. I'll actually have the link down in the description. And uh, once again, you know, I was the one that reached out to them. So thank you so much to Japan Crate for sending me this particular Doki Doki Crate. I'm actually going to be receiving a premium Japan Crate for those that might be interested in Japanese snacks. But uh, let's take a look at this crate again really quick before we actually tear it open. I did go ahead and open this little part down here. So it says, experience Japan through everything kawaii. I love that. Uh, <laughs> I have been super excited to receive this. It actually came very fast. It was a priority mail, so it came super, super fast. And I'm sorry, I think I have makeup on my hands still. It's really annoying, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. <gasps> and look, look at the top of this. Look at how cute that, like, it's got cute little kawaii's all over it. I already love this, just opening it. And at the top, I'll actually have to pan this up for you guys. Let me see if I can maneuver my camera. At the top, it's got these cute little faces and it says open, share, and enjoy. So there's that. And the first thing that we have is on top of this crate and it has this cute little lady on here. I might have to zoom out for you guys or something. Okay, so we'll move this over to the side and I'll show you guys. Look at this, that is so cute. That cute little, cute little Doki Doki uh, by Japan Crate. And it says January 2nd, 2016. And I'm not sure if this spoils all the stuff that's in it. Uh, but it actually shows, oh, I think it does. It, it, it spoils the Suteki crate, which I'll show you guys a bunch of the stuff in here in just a little bit. It says, thank you, thanks for all of the love and the awesome pictures, hashtag Doki Doki Crate for a chance to be featured in next month's issue. That's what it says up here at the top, um, up here, and it shows a lot of the Doki Doki Crate fans, so I think that that's really cool. And it also shows the January Suteki Crate. Uh, the Suteki Crate, for those of you who don't know, is a very nice uh, Doki Doki Crate, or it's, I would say it's a super expensive one um, that has a lot of really cool stuff in it. One lucky Doki Doki Crate subscriber will actually get this or has already received their Suteki Crate this month, which includes a new Nintendo 3DS XL, or is it a new one? It includes a Nintendo 3DS XL, the Tamagotchi, the Hatsune Miku Project Mirai bundle, and all of this like really cool stuff. So I like the fact that one lucky person gets the January Suteki Crate. Um, what else do we have in here? Ah, uh, yes, it does spoil what's in here. So, uh, I might come back to this in a little bit. So, we'll come back to that here in a little bit. We're gonna move this little thing back over here and I'm gonna try to pick up the stuff off the top. The first thing that I see on the top here is, whoa! So. Once this focuses, please focus. We have like some little Rilakkuma, like post-itty notes kind of thing going on. These are super cute. Uh, I like these. I like these a lot. And I'm, I'm not usually a post-it notes like user, but look at how cute these are. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. He's like, he's on Rilakkuma Airlines and everything. Um, these are. Yeah, these look like little cute like post-it notes and stamps. These look like little stamps. 
Those are very cute. I like these. I like these a lot. I'm going to put these to the side here. And, oh, what's the next thing that I want to get into? Um, <laughs> I guess we're going to pull out this little... Oh, I wanted one of these so bad. Okay, so this is a little baby El Picasso. Once my camera focuses, let's focus. Look at it! Look at how cute it is. It has a little bonnet. It's a baby El Picasso. And I've been wanting an El Picasso for as long as I can remember. It's, it's a very soft... Is very soft material. Um, I was about to say my camera's not focusing. It's very soft material. Very cute. Uh, look at the little berries that it has on the front. And it's just a little chubby. A little chubby plushy. Chubby baby Al Picasso. So this is very cute. Uh, I am a huge fan of cute things and plushies. And this is lovely. I love this very much. I'm going to put that aside. And then the next thing that we have here. What is this? What is this? Uh, these look like socks. What is this? It says socks at the top. I hold on, guys. Idea socks. Um, so let's open these up really quick. This, this is gonna be loud. Oh. What you say? That you only meant well. Cause you did mm, what you say mm, That it's all for the best Cause it is They just went everywhere <laughs> I'm sure you guys heard that Uh, so <laughs> In the meantime, the other sock went somewhere I'm unraveling this What is this? It's like a uh, <laughs> It's a very, very long sock with some Japanese writing on it. I'll have to check my box for this or um, my little pamphlet, but they're identical socks. I love socks, so I will definitely take free socks. So I, I definitely love socks. The next thing that we have is a little Domo Domo. What is this? Um, some kind of like little card thingy. What is this? Is it a sticker? Let me see. I'm about to open this and it's about to go all over the place too, guys. I'm gonna see what this is. Uh, what are you? Or is it just like a little collectible? It's a sticker. It's a cute little sticker. Um, for those of you who want to get a better look at it once my camera focuses. Thank you! It's a cute little sticker. It's Domo Domo. And Domo Domo is very cute, so... I like that, and there's actually, it looks like, another one? Yeah, there's another one that's the exact same thing. It's a, is it a pop sticker? It's the exact same Domo Domo, so you get two of those if you want to share one with your friend. The next thing that I see, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, look at this, it's Hello Kitty. Is that like a wallet? A wallet purse thingy going on. That's very, it's very thick. Look at it, it's very thick. We'll, we'll get it out of this. I am so excited for this stuff right now, guys. This, this stuff is absolutely adorable right now. Okay. So, we have what looks to be like a Hello Kitty wallet. A very nice, well-made, cute Hello Kitty wallet. Uh, let's try to open it up. I could be wrong. I think it's a wallet. That's definitely like a, yeah, that's definitely a wallet. It's definitely a wallet. It's very cute. I like it. I like how thick it is. I think that this is a great wallet for anyone, especially, obviously, Hello Kitty fans. The details are very well done. It's very vibrant, and I love it. This is so freaking awesome, guys. I, I am very happy with this Doki Doki crate. Uh, the next thing I'm going to get out here. <gasps> oh! This obviously hits home for me. Oh, look at that, guys. I want to focus in. Look at that. <laughs> you already know that I'm gonna like this because it is Pokemon related. And we're gonna pop it open really quick. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, 
Pokemon Company a while ago in Japan released a little campaign and this is part of that campaign where you could get little like butts of Pokemon <laughs> and we just got the lovely backside of Pikachu. We got Pikachu's butt here. Um, look at that. And it's on a little keychain and that's so cute. So we have Pikachu's butt now on a keychain. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't know where the front half of him is, but this is super cute to get, you know, Pikachu's butt. So I, I like this. This is very cool. I don't know what made them decide, hey, let's, let's make Pokemon butts. But people like butts and people like Pokemon, so you know what? We'll take it. We'll definitely, definitely take it. The uh, next thing in here, what is this? Oh, oh, look at this little thing. This is really hard to focus on unless I take it out of the package, but how cute is this? This is so cute. I don't even exactly know what it is. I'll have it on the screen for you guys. It says Soon Hoseki. Soon Hoseki. Let me take it out of the package. And it says Hop Chan. Is it Hop or Hop a Chan? It's popular with elementary school girls. It belongs to Soon Hoseki. I'm probably saying that wrong. Oh, oh, it's so cute. The material, it's like a, it's like a little lemon drop or lemon Hershey kiss, guys. Hold on. Oh, let's focus. Look at how cute that is. I love the little texture of it. It's so cute. I think that um, there are a lot more of these, like different types and stuff. It's a cute little keychain. It's absolutely freaking adorable. Uh, I do love it very much, but it's it's like a little keychain, and it's very cute. It's got little. It actually has a little bit of sparkliness to it. Uh, I like that. Um, so I'm very happy with that too. I'm very happy with all the stuff in here so far. There's, but we're not done. We are not done. We do have. Let me see. We got. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah, what is this? It reminds me of um, Yoshi's story. There's like a little elephant in there and it's it's holding up signs. That's what it reminds me of. There's literally nothing that tells me what this is outside of what's, you know, in the actual book thingy. But I'm about to drop the last thing that's in here. Yeah, there's like a cute little tag on it too. So I'll have to take a look and see what that is. Uh, there's the tag. So we'll put that down because the last thing in our Doki Doki crate is Sailor Moon related. Uh, I grew up on Sailor Moon, so I'm very, very excited about this. As you guys can see, we're gonna get some sort of little, some sort of little figurine once it focuses, some sort of little figurine is going to be in here. Super Sailor Moon, Super Sailor Chibi Moon, uh, Sailor Pluto, and you can get a Luna Ball. So let, let's open this up and see what we get. Okay, I'm trying not to look in the packaging yet. Oh, oh, we got a base. Uh-oh. We got Pluto. I said Pluto. Um, yeah, we got Sailor Pluto. So, let me make sure I didn't miss anything in the box. So, let's focus. Look at that, it's very, very cute. Um, I've never set one of these things up, so I'll try to do this. And I might try to include some pictures, because that would probably be a little bit easier to do. So since I'm actually really bad at putting these little things together, I figured I would just show it to you like this. Very, very cute. I love it very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Doki Doki Crate. Let them know that I sent you. If you guys do decide to subscribe, we will be checking out Japan Crate in the near future once it does arrive. And uh, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!